Nina, take it away. All right. So uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, for attending this talk. Uh, I am speaking from the University of Florida, where my primary faculty position is actually in the Health Science Center Library. And my job involves a lot of work with the history of science and medicine, but also teaching uh, health humanities to medical students as well as undergraduates. Uh, so I teach in the College of Medicine, the undergraduate honors program, actually the International Scholars Program, and the Center for African Studies. Uh, I guess um, kind of a unifying theme in this for me has uh, been just a passion for nature. I have a background as a wildlife biologist as well as an historian and um, uh, a passion for nature, the arts, and um, I guess wellness and well-being, and have pursued for a number of years the, the more health humanities focused programs working with medical students to promote their own well-being as well as the well-being of their patients. And in the process, I've brought part of my background to bear on that. But then uh, with an increasing interest in wellness at the University of Florida, uh, as well as a rise in kind of the data that supports the idea that nature-based therapies do uh, have uh, supporting research, uh, we've been able to kind of branch out and do more work with nature-based therapies. Uh, and that involves creating new programs, so we can have the next slide. And I will say in advance or as we go along that the I've taken pretty much all of the photos here and most of them have been taken on the University of Florida campus. So one of the great blessings that I find in working at UF is that we have a lot of wildlife that you can encounter. So in terms of creating a new program, um, especially in working with the wellness team at the Health Science Center Library, uh, we kind of came up with a list of the things that you need to create new programs. Um, and if we can have the next slide. Um, and it, it does uh, kind of help to shape some of the things that we've been able to do, especially through the Health Science Center Library. But in the process of this, and this is what I will get to eventually, is that um, there are a lot of other factors that are even more important than uh, these issues and, and even in creating a new program, and that is kind of connecting with everyone at your institution that's doing kind of similar work or has a passion for similar work. So um, in the activities that we did create and that we are fostering, um, uh, some of them are ongoing and have been for some time and some of them we adapted from other activities. So if we can have the next slide. Um, so again, ongoing activities, adapted activities as in the next slide, which shows work that I've done um, with a fourth year elective for medical students from around the country. And that is doing semi self-guided nature walks in the Redwoods near Santa Cruz. And that's essentially focused on introducing medical students who are interested in integrative medicine uh, to the importance and value of being in nature, but also not just um, kind of what I see as more passive, uh, which also is valuable in and of itself, but also more active. And that's creating a trail uh, that where I have cards that ask questions about certain uh, signs of life, uh, certain signs of activity, or even just patterns in the way that um, animals are moving around or that plants are growing. And with the next slide gives a little bit more information on this. This is a project that I've been working on since 2004, and it involves um, trips out to Santa Cruz to Ben Lomond, a Quaker center there, uh, to create these nature um uh, walks and introduce medical students um, to the possibility of using nature for their, their own well-being, but also for uh, prescribing nature nature for their patients. Uh, and um, 
It also, uh, there's a focus on using nature and nature-based activities to increase observational skills among medical students that they can then apply in their own medical practice. Uh, so other ongoing activities that uh, I mean have been included, I love the Ben Lomond Quaker Center as well, uh, also include activities on the UF campus. Uh, and the next slide kind of touches on one of these. And that's an, uh, the honors program at UF has a Harry Potter camp or HP camp uh, where they um, bring me in to do an herbology session. And that focuses on real and imaginary plants and introduces them to some of the really exciting plants on the UF campus with a marauder's map. They are encouraged to go out and find these plants and, and really understand what is so cool and exciting about them as well as growing their own, own plants. Uh, and this activity is, uh, I know in, in the current climate, there's I've had concerns both about being able to talk about uh, J.K. Rowling's issues uh, and then being able to talk about that on campus in Florida. But basically um, what I have uh, have spoken to them about is that this is a, a world of Harry Potter that kind of moves beyond J.K. Rowling and is a world that um, is inclusive and the world that they themselves built to where everyone feels safe and connected. But anyway, the using the herbology session in the greenhouse in the Wilmot Gardens, and if we can have the next slide. Uh, it's a botanical gardens on campus that was created by a former dean of the College of Medicine. And they have a greenhouse, which is our herbology site. Uh, and it's also a place where I take medical students for forest bathing activities. And again, where they can exercise their observational skills. Uh, and then also um, I've created uh, this nature walk guide uh, for the Wilmont Botanical Gardens, just uh, uh, things that people who are walking through the gardens may be able to see. And that um, is another way in which I work to engage uh, people more actively so that they can actually maybe have a better sense of what they might be seeing. And then if there are stories about that, that um, plant or animal, then they can also look for the stories for the interactions that may exist and the connections that they may see. Uh, so with the next story, uh, just as kind of um, a synopsis of activities that represent um, more of my own on, own ongoing and new ish um, act. Um, programs include per in person nature walks, virtual nature walks where I share the photographs that I take of the UF campus and what can be seen there. And we do forest bathing uh, with the uh, students as well as faculty. And I've created reflective writing activities with with handouts that are also available online. I teach medical student and undergraduate courses and collaborate with the Harn Museum of Art on using art to uh, kind of mediate um, access to nature for people who may not have had consistent access or may have fears about engaging in nature. Uh, other um, activities at the Health Science Center Library itself, uh, which provides the physical space uh, to um, promote um, re books uh, and other activities is on the next page or next slide. Uh, the Health Science Center uh, Library physical space, we have handouts, we give away plants uh, and have plant guides or care guides that students can take with them. It's where we also uh, have our seasonal nature walk guides. In addition to the one that I created for the Wilmot Gardens, we also have um, guides uh, for I think a total now of about 18 that highlight plants and animals, some of which may be seen more readily in certain seasons. And the next slide um, also shows uh, kind of a season of, or a year of the nature walk guides from spring mm -hmm. through summer, fall and winter. And again, these are highlighting plants and animals to be seen on the UF campus. And in particular, trying to tell the stories of the behavior of these different organisms, such as fish nesting, 
uh, baby um, armadillos and how they're always born in groups of four. Uh, so again, uh, activities that are new, some of them um, are were ongoing for me, which have been adapted to uh, to UF. Uh, and then the other uh, kind of on or new activity or expanded and adapted activity on the next slide is just working with medical students to uh, show them how they can think about prescribing nature for their patients as they develop their own uh, medical practice. There are ways in which they can uh, create a practice where they work, walk with their students or with their patients. So walking with a doc is an, a recognized nature prescription activity. But even I work with a rheumatologist who um, and her patients have mobility issues and may have trouble with um, with their hands and pain in their hands where she prescribes them um, repotting plants or potting plants so that they can have the experience of working with their hands in nature, um, but in a way that won't be too taxing or cause too much pain. So the, again, these are some of the new activities. Again, some of them are adapted, but, and if we can have the next slide, but we do, uh, I do work on the UF campus. And as you can see, we have a range of wildlife that you can see on the campus. But in introducing uh, UF on the next slide, uh, and then the, even the next slide, and I'm not going to read all this text. I know it's like a huge amount of text, but it's just to show that one of the things about being at a huge uh, uh, institution like UF is that there are so many schools, so many colleges, so many centers, facilities around the state, including things like the Whitney Lab for Marine Bioscience. We have a Museum of Natural History, a Museum of Art, significant green space, uh, Lake Alice. We have the bathhouses, which I didn't even mention here, where people come in the evenings to watch hundreds and thousands of bats leave the houses and go off to feed on insects across at uh, Lake Alice, uh, and then off-campus sites. Uh, and then the next slide also kind of reiterates this theme that we have lots of programs and majors, and this is not like to brag on UF, it's actually, um, and, and then another program that we have at UF on the next slide is um, the track trails program, which uh, was brought to get the Gainesville area by a former colleague at UF. She's now a dean uh, at another institution. We also have a track trails on the UF campus, so uh, individuals can follow the trail, connect uh, uh, with the brochures that are provided or connect online. Um, so there are obviously lots of resources, lots of people doing amazing things at UF. But uh, there's the challenge, and that is, as the next slide shows, is in connecting programs. So there are um, lots of great things to be to, that happen here. But UF is so big, and on the next slide, we get lots of silos. People are doing these amazing things, but we don't always talk to one another. We don't always know what's going on. We don't even have easy ways to um, share information. So and with the next slide, um, finding out what's happening uh, around campus was also key in kind of creating um, a, a, a campus nature RX listing as well as a program because I could talk about the things that are happening at the Health Science Center Library, but there's a lot happening around campus. And so part of the easiest thing, of course, is just asking everyone who's known to be interested in wellness and nature-based therapies. Uh, next slide, expanding that a little bit, I presented at a monthly meeting of the university-wide wellness program and asked the people um, with the next slide to share any information they might have about such a program. And just kind of with a lot of this effort to uh, reach out, to connect, to um, spread by word of mouth um, and through institutional channels, uh, what I did was create a list on the next slide 
that we use for our campus nature rx listing but then um, we also have more detailed information on the lib guide that the health center library created which has led also to collaborations now i personally have a better sense of what's happening on campus so with the next slide um it's led to collaborations and results such as in the next slide um, continuing work with campus groups uh, that popped up in the in this um, search for information. But then also once we had the Campus Nature Rx listing, I've had people at UF come to me and say, oh, I saw got your name from the Campus Rx um, website. And so now I know to reach out and contact you. And um, all of those things, I think it, what we've learned is really that you can have plans for your own programs, but what's as as important, if not more so, is just being able to find out what's going on around you. Because I think at most universities, there are great people who are doing amazing, fantastic things, and the challenge really is to find them. And so if we can just have a couple of ending slides that we can zip through, please feel free to contact me if you uh, have any questions or thoughts. And with the next slide, thank you uh, for attending today. And then the last slide, um, thank you very much.